Number seven. The largest known primate, the Giganto Black Eye, also known as the real life King Kong, stood around 10 feet tall and weighed in around a thousand plus pounds. The Giganto died off hundreds of thousands of years ago, and while it would have encountered some of our relatives, it did not live in Asia around the time of modern humans. However, there are those that believe the Gigantos have now evolved into a mythical creature we've been long familiar with, Bigfoot. Not only Bigfoot, but there's so many iterations of different ape-like creatures from all over the world. If the Giganto began to evolve while still roaming in Asia, it became the bipedal and more human-like and now exists as we call the Yeti. Or when sea levels were lower during the last ice age, there was a great exchange of fauna between North America and Asia, and across the land we now call Beringia. This was the wide expanse of land which now makes up the seafloor under the present day Bering Sea, and is also known as the Bering Land Bridge. Humans are also believed to have made this trip and populated the Americas. Did the ancestors of the Giganto come across too? And do they live in the forests of North America as the Sasquatch? I know a lot of this seems far-fetched, but there are a lot of sightings of different ape-like creatures across the world. It's hard to deny some possibility that the Giganto still lives today. Number 6. The passenger pigeon used to travel in flocks that were 300 miles long and a mile wide, and was the biggest population by numbers making up 25-40% to 40 of the total bird population in the 19th century, until its extinction in the early 20th century. The estimated population of 3 to 5 billion passenger pigeons in the 19th century was said to have gone extinct from a combination of hunting and loss of habitat. Some passenger pigeons may still roam according to some reports by some bird watchers. However, none have been confirmed and the scientific consensus is that they are extinct. Though they may be the best candidates for being brought back through the work of DNA cloning due to their recent extinction. Number five. Standing up upwards of 11 feet and weighing over six tons, the woolly mammoth has been living alongside humans for over 200,000 years. From a combination of climate change and human hunting, the last known mammoths died in Siberia around 10,000 years ago. However, many mammoths survived on Wrangell Island in the Arctic Ocean until approximately 2,000 years ago, which indicates that some may still be alive in some of the remote areas of, in Siberia that is yet to be explored by humans. Being the innovative creatures that we are, even if there are no woolly mammoths left on this earth, woolly mammoth DNA may lead to a resurrection of this ancient beast. This 39,000 year old carcass may hold the key to the woolly mammoth's future through cloning as the modern elephant's DNA only differs by about 0.6%. Number four. Mekili Mbembe, meaning one who stops the flow of rivers, is a large, long-necked, long-tailed reptile. The legendary creature is said to live deep in the Congo River Basin of Central Africa, and by the description, it is thought by experts to be a seropod dinosaur. William Gibbons, an explorer with a PhD in cultural anthropology of Warnboro College, the tribe described as being bigger than a forest elephant with a long neck, a small lizard-like head which was decorated with a comb-like frill, and it had long, flexible tail, a smooth reddish brown skin, and four stubby but yet powerful legs with clawed toes. The same tribe also claims to have killed one of these creatures back in 1959 when it tried to break through one of its river dams the tribe constructed. It took several days for the tribe to cut and prep the creature for consumption. Number three. The Megalodon was the biggest shark ever to swim in the oceans of the world reaching lengths of upwards of 55 to 60 feet long and weighing as much as 100 tons. It preyed on whales and other large marine mammals and would have been the apex predator of the ocean in its day. The Megalodon went extinct most likely due to the changing global climate conditions, increased competition for the dwindling food supply. So why might this creature still be alive today? Tons of fishermen tails been piling in over the years about a 40 foot long great white sharks and bigger. When we know the Megalodon's closest relative maxes out at around 25 feet long. Also, interesting enough, in 1875, there was a Megalodon tooth found in the Mariana Trench, which carbon dated to be only 10,000 years old. Many experts say there is a probability that the Megalodon could still be lurking in the deepest parts of the ocean. Number two, at 20 feet in length, 
the giant ground sloth called Megatherium was a huge and frightening beast, one of the largest terrestrial mammals ever to live on this planet. And even though this beast eats plants, and only uses its claws to hook vegetation or for self-defense, it's easy to see how this beast could be unnerving for the nearby villagers. Megatherium was a slow-moving herbivore, so humans likely had little to fear, but putting yourself within reach of its massive claws would have surely been a bad idea. Early humans in South America hunted this massive creature to extinction 10,000 years ago. However, in the deep jungles of South America, there are stories of a terrifying creature resembling this spotted by the locals quite often. The monster is said to stand 10 feet tall or better, have enormous backward facing claws and a mouth on its belly. Oddly enough, this sounds just like a megatherium. The mouth on the belly? Some researchers say this is indicative of the scent gland that many sloths possess. And the backward claws? would be because the sloth's claws were so large they walked on their knuckles. Number 1 Plesiosaurs were marine reptiles that lived during the time of the dinosaurs. There were many different types in all shapes and sizes. The ones we're most familiar with are the ones with the long necks, large bodies, seropod looking animals with the flippers. Now the plesiosaurs mostly ate fish, but some of the bigger ones they would have dined on some larger aquatic animals and some of the bigger ones might have even plucked dinosaurs off the shorelines because they could reach an astounding 55 feet long. It is widely accepted among experts that the same mass extinction event that wiped out the dinosaurs did in the large marine reptiles as well about 65 million years ago. But there are those that who think the plesiosaurs are still with us and they have plenty of reasons to say so. Aquatic monsters matching the description of some of these reptiles have come from lakes all over the globe as well as the open ocean. This is one theory that allegedly explains the Loch Ness Monster. Because Loch Ness is connected to the ocean, the story goes that a population of plesiosaurs somehow escaped from the sea and into the confines of the lake. This theory has issues on many levels, but the sheer rash of lake monster sightings from around the planet leads many experts to keep the plesiosaur as a potentially alive creature. 